let's understand how do we calculate blanking force calculation. So, as we know that, say this is a shield, and this is a hole to be punched or made using blanking and punching process. So, the force calculation involves T equals to tau, that is shear strength of a material into A. Now, this A is not the area of a circle to be cut or area of any cutout to be cut. It is circumferential area. So, for circle, this area would be pi d, while for square, it is 4 a into thickness. Sorry, not pi d, it is t d, that is thickness into diameter. Thickness into diameter. If you see here, this punch. This is thickness, while this is a diameter to be considered for blanking force calculation. For rectangle, A for rectangle would be 2 times A plus B into P, while A and B are the length and breadth of a rectangle respectively. Let's take an example. If diameter of a circle is 30 mm, thickness is 3 mm, and if tau provided is 96 kg per millimeter square, then calculating P would be 96 into these 30 into 3 that will give us 10.2 tons. Many times it is required to calculate stripping force which is less than 10% of shear load. This stripping, stripping force is normally referred as Ts. It has to be calculated by considering factor K in the shearing force. Shearing force we have already calculated by using this method. This corrector or correction factor is usually 0.05 to 0.2 in general applications, while it is 0.3 to 0.4 in case of stamping where high tightness requirement is there. For high, high speed High speed cutting is being carried out. So let's understand one more one more aspect of this. Here is something called as a cutting clearance. It may be said like we have already discussed in our first lecture that if punching operation is there then the tolerances has to be given on die while if the blanking operation is there the tolerances has to be given on punch sorry not tolerances clearances clearance So how do we calculate that clearance? Supposing it is given that 1 mm sheet thickness is there and cutting clearance is 5%. Normally it is given in terms of percentage. So we have to simply calculate 1 multiplied by 5% that will give us 0 0.05 mm. And that 0 0.05 mm has to be Consider on dimensions of punch in case of blanking operations, while on dimensions of die in case of punching operations. So that's all. Thank you.